Hi, it's Tanika here with NaturalHealthRevival.com. This video today I want to share with you is uh, about the benefits of wheatgrass. Um, for those of you that may know my story um, and that have heard my story at whether at a health revival event or um, basically on some of the other videos that have been posted, you do know that wheatgrass is one of those superfoods that I do happen to mention on a regular basis. Um, and a superfood basically is a product that contains a lot of the nutrients in it that our body needs. Um, most foods maybe only have one nutrient or two or a very small amount, but a superfood has a great amount, such as wheatgrass, which has, I think, about 90 minerals in it. Um, so you will hear me speak on that. But I came into the knowledge of wheatgrass a few years ago. I mean, as you know, my story is when they um, diagnosed me as having a complex cyst in my breast. I went and started researching a lot of different natural health products that are out there. And wheatgrass is one of those products that I came across. And so I continue to take it to this day. So um, first I'm going to share with you, basically I um, had the opportunity of taking two of my ladies that were helped out with the health revival events to a juice bar. And we actually took the wheatgrass we had the guy to juice the wheatgrass for us and I had them to try it so they had a combination of wheatgrass ginger and a little bit of cayenne pepper in there so all of those are great foods together and so but the main thing is it was composed of the wheatgrass so I want to share that with you first and then I'll come back on the back end and I will share what the benefits of the wheatgrass are so I'll be right back after you see this segment Because Sandy, guys, I'm doing something different. You know, I'm on this health kick. And I had a friend that invited me, and she's going to um, introduce me to some wheatgrass shots. But I never heard anything about it until she mentioned it. So if you just want to get a view of this, we had my wheatgrass shop just done. And I want you to see my reaction once. See it okay? And I want you to see my reaction if this is good or not, but it doesn't matter. I might not even show you. So, are you ready for my reaction on taking this new grand shot? Here we go. Pray for me. Yeah, hopefully the weather's nice. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I know. Cool in the morning. Cool in the morning. It is a taste to acquire. Take care, man. See you, man. I can say it's not bad, but it's going to get used to. It's not bad because I got a little cayenne pepper in it and I think I'm critical. <laughs> anyway, but you just witnessed me taking my wheatgrass shot. And what I'm going to do later on is follow up. Shot and I'm going to, uh, I don't know how I'm going to react after I um, drink it, but here it goes. As you see there, there was a little problem there with the taste. It takes a little bit getting used to um, that taste, <laughs> but I think that's the only issue there is with wheatgrass. I mean, they had it. It was freshly juiced. As I said, with a little ginger and a little bit of cayenne pepper in there, but it was freshly juiced, so it kind of tastes almost like a sweet grass taste to it. Um, but the benefits are numerous. I can go on and on about the benefits, but I know that was one of the things that did help me naturally when I um, was diagnosed with that complex cyst and I started using the wheatgrass. I started going to that juice bar that I took them to and I started implementing that on a routine basis. And um, it's just a great superfood. Like I said before, it helps to cleanse your body. It helps to get rid of toxins in your body. It helps to um, supply oxygen to your cells. 
If you're not getting oxygen to your cellular level of your body, that's really where cancer can come about because you're not getting any oxygen to the cells. And that's basically what your cells feed off of. That's what they need is oxygen. And it makes your blood more alkaline. And if your body becomes more alkaline, no disease can exist in that body. So whether it's high blood pressure, cancer, high cholesterol, diabetes, um, arthritis, um, you know, skin issues, wheatgrass will help take care of that because it will eliminate all the toxins in your body and help make your body more alkaline instead of being acidic. And things that are acidic, you think of, ladies, when you get a relaxer. You know that relaxer can't stay on your head for too long because it's very acidic. To your body and you have to wash that out quickly but that's the same thing as a lot of the foods that we eat do the same thing to our body from the inside and so we have to continue to drink our water and wheatgrass will do an array of jobs even women that suffer from issues with their um, menstrual cycle each month the cramping and things like that I mean I can say I notice when I take it regularly like I'm supposed to I don't have the cramping issues that I usually have each month if I do my wheatgrass every month like I'm supposed to and I'm doing a great job at it now and uh, you won't suffer from those issues I mean it helps with those that are have are anemic as well um, so you will see all of those benefits come about just from the wheatgrass in and of itself it's composed of 90 plus minerals it has live enzymes in it and that's what your body needs to help with digestion is enzymes and a lot of times when we eat a lot of cooked foods that totally gets rid of all the enzymes in it when we cook our foods none of the enzymes are left for those that eat greens you know collard greens and mustard greens and things like that by the time we cook it it's really no good nutritionally to us so if you look for ways to naturally improve your health Wheatgrass is one of those things I strongly suggest implementing in your life where you can. You can find it in capsule form. You can find it in powder form. It works wonders um, because it will supply a great array of nutritious cuts. That's what your body is looking for in the first place. It's looking for health. Even medication is toxic to the body. So really, you need to find a way to detox from all the medication in the body because it's not resolving the issue. It makes your body more acidic, which brings on more issues. So I just wanted to share that with you real quick. You all be blessed, and I will share another video with you soon, okay? I'll talk to you later.